in this passage from 2 Thessalonians, the day of Christ. Some manuscripts say the day of the Lord. They're synonymous here. Uh, like I said, some people just either, either one of the manuscripts said Lord and they changed it to Christ, or one manuscript said Christ and somebody changed it to the Lord for their own purposes. A scribe made an error, whatever. But one, some of the original texts say Christ, some of them say Lord, but they're synonymous. It will not come until after the rapture of the church. The words, that day will not come, are inserted. We went through that last week. I'm just going to read you so you remember what I'm talking about. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but um, just so you know what I'm talking about. It says, um, um, where is it? Um, okay, uh, yeah. Um, it says, don't be troubled, soon shaken in mind, or troubled either by spirit or by word or by letter, as if from us, as though the day of Christ had come. Let no one deceive you by any means, for that day will not come. That is inserted. Okay, that's only inserted for clarity. It is understood in the Greek. So even though those words are not in the Greek, they are understood from the context of the Greek. So the translators put them in there for your understanding. But they are correct. They are correctly supplied in 2 Thessalonians 2. Okay, so the words the day will not come are inserted by the translators for clarity, but they are correctly inserted. As the day of Christ is the nearest antecedent it is speaking of that event. It's speaking of the tribulation period. It's not speaking of the rapture. It's not speaking of anything else that people shove into there. It is speaking of the day of the Lord, the day of Christ, okay? If you get that wrong, of course, you might be a pre-tribulation rapture believer. If you get that wrong, of course, you may be a uh, post-tribulation rapture believer. Or you may bizarrely not believe the Bible at all and say there is no such thing as a rapture, even though it's clearly described there. Either way, the day of Christ is what is being referred to. That is the nearest antecedent, just like the uh, prince of the people to come, the nearest antecedent, he is that person. You always go back to the nearest unless there is a valid reason why you should not. And it's very rare in scripture for something to jump over the nearest antecedent. As a matter of fact, a while ago, I uh, had a question in one of the Joshua sermons and I went to Sergio and I said, I just don't think that it's referring to this. And Sergio didn't want to agree with that because the rule of, uh, and so I had to write around that because I'm not gonna manipulate it. I just wanted his uh, opinion on those words to see if he could come to that conclusion. And he said, I, I, I can't. And so uh, I, I did not go with it, but it made sense from the context, but it was not the nearest antecedent. And so you know that when you're reading, the normal uh, way that you speak is when you're speaking of two or more things, you will always refer to the last one, the nearest antecedent, okay? That's just the way it works. That's the way languages work. There are times when it's not speaking of the nearest person because it's so obvious that it doesn't have to. Okay, you know, Jacob had a son, blah, 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 and then it says something that can only apply to Jacob, all right? Then you would put Jacob there, even though it might be the nearest antecedent was a son or grandson. It can't be, and so it must be Jacob, but that is not the way that normal writings work unless it's just for obvious, you know, sake. There you go. So the day of the Christ is the nearest antecedent. It would be against the rules of grammar and every bit of logic that is stated in the rest of the Bible to say, we're going to go here instead of here, okay? And, but people do that. They do it all the time because they were told that the rapture is pre-tribulation. And so they will do anything to defend that the rest of their lives instead of just saying, I was wrong. And, oh, what did I say? Pre -tribulation? Okay, <laughs> mid-tribulation. They will, they will hear that it's mid, thank you. They'll hear that it's mid-tribulation and then they will go and do everything possible, twisting scripture to fit that for the rest of their lives. Incorrect, okay? But, okay, the day of Christ is the nearest antecedent. It is speaking of that event. The reason for Paul telling them this was because some had obviously told the Thessalonians that it had arrived. The day of Christ or the day of the Lord had arrived. You can get that right out of the text that we read last week. People were scared that the day of Christ had arrived. Now, what would be the problem with that based on what he had told them? They had missed the rapture, obviously. We missed, right? You told us he was going to come before the day of Christ, but we're being told that the day of Christ had come. And that's why he said, don't let anybody ever tell you that, even if it's in a letter from us or anybody else. It is not correct.